hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new so tomorrow i am about to go away for three weeks to visit my friends and family up in pennsylvania and i'm also going to be celebrating my 30th birthday while i'm up there so we need to pack for this trip and i thought that it would maybe be fun to vlog it i don't know I personally find these videos interesting. So every time I am going to be going away for a decent amount of time, like longer than a weekend, I like to write out a list of everything that I need to pack. That way, A, it's less overwhelming, and then B, I am less likely to forget to bring things with me. And I'll usually do this several days before I need to start packing. That way, if there's anything that I forgot to add to the list that I've think of I can add to it as the days get closer and I normally like to do it in categories I used to be one of those people that was like a more spontaneous packer and I always would end up forgetting things and I would feel very overwhelmed and I would always either end up underpacking or overpacking so writing out a list ahead of time is a big lifesaver so if you don't already do that highly recommend so i started out with like tech stuff that i need because i am going to be vlogging on my trip and i need to bring my computer because i still need to be doing work and podcasting and all of that kind of stuff so i wrote down all of the tech things i need and then i have all of the toiletries then accessories like jewelry sunglasses makeup and then i have clothing related things like bathing suits socks underwear and then my dog's stuff because i am bringing him with me of course um, and then any like miscellaneous things are in their own category. And then as I'm going down the list and I pack things away, rather than deleting it from the list, I'll just put a check mark next to it. That way when I am packing again to come back home, I can make sure that I'm not missing or forgetting anything behind. What's nice is that I'm driving. So I mean, it's gonna suck because it's like a 10 hour drive but it means that i can bring as much stuff as i want and i don't have to worry about it all being under a certain weight limit and you know all that so i'm gonna bring a duffel bag for all of my accessories and toiletries and that kind of stuff and that way i will just reserve my big suitcase for clothes so we're gonna start over here this is where i have my makeup my perfumes, my jewelry, and my sunglasses. And I'm gonna pack my perfumes first. This portion of the video is sponsored by Dossier, so thank you so much to them. I have been purchasing from Dossier for like two years now, I wanna say. And I mean, as you can see, I got a lot of their perfumes. At this point, I don't even bother paying full price for a name brand fragrance. It just doesn't make any sense to me if I can get it on Dossier. They make replicas that are the same exact high quality, smells identical, last just as long as the designer name brand ones. So I'm gonna bring two with me because I have been obsessed with mixing these two together, the Ambery Saffron and the Ambery Cherry. They both smell so good and together, they they are just a little bit sweet but really sexy and they're very strong and they last a very long time so this has been my little go-to cocktail and I just actually got a brand new bottle of the Ambery Saffron because my original bottle is almost out so I'm gonna bring the full one with me on my trip by eliminating retailer markups, celebrity marketing, and licensing fees, Dossier can offer luxury scents for 70 to 90% less. So whereas a full-size bottle of a luxury fragrance can retail anywhere from 100 to 300 plus dollars, Dossier's fragrances start at $19. Dossier now also has a new payment method that allows you to earn store credit. Select catch at the last step of checkout and you'll earn a $10 sign-on bonus credit and you'll get rewarded with a 10% store credit on every order. In addition to all of that, I also have a discount code that will save you 10% off of your order. So I will have a link and that code down in the description. So go check it out. Highly, highly recommend. I've been recommending Dossier for years now to all of my friends and family. I've converted everyone in my life. Like why spend more money just for, I mean, it's basically just the bottle and the label that you're paying more for. Thank you so much, Dossier, for working with me again. And, um, okay, let's continue packing. So we have our 
perfumes. Now let's do sunglasses and jewelry. So we're just gonna grab a bunch of sunglasses. I'm a big sunglass person and I really like coordinating my sunglasses with my outfit and with my hair, depend just depending on like where I'm going, what my vibe is. I like to have options. So we're gonna do these key sunglasses. These are from Misguided. They're like really, really old. I got them a long time ago, but they're very funky and kind of like racer vibes. And then I'm gonna also bring these little key ones. But I also really love these. These are either from Misguided or Boohoo. Uh, they're also very old. And then I think I'll just do basic aviators. These are also from Key. Oh, also in this bag, I'm gonna bring jewelry. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? I have this jewelry organizer from Hobby Lobby. Maybe I should just bring this whole thing with me. That way, I may, yeah, I may as well, right? Why not? Yeah, let's just do that. That way I don't have to choose or worry about not having something. This way I'll just have all of the jewelry that I own. And actually when I moved, I literally just had everything already pre-packed in here and it stayed really nice. So yeah, we're just gonna bring that. There we go, easy. And then in the bag with the sunglasses, I'm also gonna add a scrunchie and a claw clip. So let's put the jewelry organizer in here, sunglasses and hair accessories. Now let's pack makeup. So whenever I'm packing my makeup, I just go in the order in which I would do my makeup just to make it easier. That way I don't forget anything. So I'm going to, so I'm gonna bring my Super Goop Glow Screen SPF. Then for foundation, I'm gonna bring the Essence Pretty Natural. Then we need concealer. So bringing the Tarte CC Under Eye Correcting Concealer and my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Those are my two go-tos. Then I'm gonna bring the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation as my setting powder. Then next I usually do bronzer and blush. So I'm gonna bring this NYX Matte Bronzer. For blush, I'm gonna bring these two. This one I really like if I'm doing like a full face of makeup and then this I have on today. So I like it if I just want something a little more natural. And this kind of doubles as like a bronzer and a blush in one, at least on my skin tone. For highlight, I'm gonna bring the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. It's a good go-to. I'm gonna bring my Benefit Professional Setting Spray. And then I'm gonna bring this hair gel that I like to use sometimes for my eyebrows to make them look really bushy and spiky. I'm also going to bring the Benefit Gimme Brow and a brow pencil, this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I honestly don't really wear eyeshadow very much anymore these days, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to, but possibly for my birthday party, I might wanna wear some, so I'm gonna bring this ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. Let's see, so we have base, foundation, powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, brows, oh, mascara, and then we need lips. So I'm gonna bring the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner and then the NYX lip liner in natural. I'm gonna bring my KKW lipstick. What's nice about this makeup tower too, which is from Amazon, by the way, I'll link it down below, is I have everything organized by category so I honestly can just like go through spin this and see like okay did I get something from each category like each section I'm also gonna bring my pencil sharpener and my tweezers just in case and then lastly we just need brushes and tools so I'm gonna bring my Real Techniques sponge foundation brushes blush bronzer highlight setting powder, concealer brush, a couple of eye brushes. Okay, so makeup is good. 
Okay, I took a quick little break and I washed my face, took my makeup off, but now I'm gonna pack clothes and shoes. And I didn't plan specific outfits that I'm gonna bring, so I'm honestly just gonna be going through my closet and just kind of putting together outfits as I pack. I don't have super specific plans for when I'm gonna be up there, so I'm just gonna try to bring different options. So I think we'll just do a time lapse of this part but my plan is to bring some dresses and some like going out type of outfits and then of course i want to have just some casual like bike shorts easy summery outfits if i'm just going to be like hanging out and then some cuter casual like going out and about during the daytime type of outfits and then of course we need pajamas socks underwear bras bathing suits so yeah those are the types of things i'm gonna be packing so let's go It is filled to the freaking brim, and I knew that was gonna happen, which is why I'm doing the duffel bag with everything else separately. By the way, this suitcase is just, I don't even know the brand. I got it at TJ Maxx years ago. I might have overpacked on the clothes a little bit, but like I keep saying, I just don't really know exactly what kind of outfits I need, and also the weather up there right now end of may beginning of june it's like kind of iffy like here in north carolina it's summer basically um and even at night like the lows have been in the high 60s at the absolute lowest so here i'm good with just all light summer clothes but up there i think at night it's still like in the 50s honestly when it comes to clothes i rather would overpack than underpack and be there and be like crap now I want to go shopping because you know I feel like I don't have anything to wear so anyway okay in the bathroom now it's time to pack up all of my toiletries and I already have a couple things in here I have some feminine products some period stuff um eye drops a makeup eraser and my supplements so we're gonna also put my Nivea cream. Normally, if I was going away for like a week or less, I have a whole bin filled with travel size products and I'll usually just bring those so that it's just less for me to carry back and forth. But because I'm going for three weeks, that's not gonna be enough. So I'm just gonna bring the full size of everything. Deodorant, my hairbrush, ooh. My dress shampoo is almost out. Maybe I'll just leave this here then and buy a new one when I'm there. And then I'm bringing my curl products, my curl cream and mousse. I'm gonna need my toothbrush obviously, but I'm gonna need to use that in the morning. So I'm gonna leave this bag out on the bathroom sink with my toothbrush next to it. And then I'll just throw this in the duffel bag in the morning before I leave. I'm not gonna worry about my skincare stuff because I actually needed to order more and I had it just shipped to my parents' house. So it's already there waiting for me. So I can just use all of the new stuff. Now we need to grab stuff from 
the shower. I need a razor and my shampoo and conditioner. And then I'm also packing my round brush and my blow dryer. I'm gonna bring the diffuser head for it as well. Moving on to my techie stuff and like work related things. I need my phone charger and my AirPods and all of these things I'm gonna bring in this backpack. Laptop charger, extra camera batteries and the charger, extra SD card, my laptop of course, and my planner. Okay, and then lastly, we just have to pack Benny's stuff. I already put his bag of food in my car, so that's good to go. Harness, flea and tick medicine, and then his food bowls, I'm gonna wait. That way he can have breakfast in the morning before we leave. That is everything on my list. And I feel good because I don't have to like second guess or worry and wonder like, oh, am I forgetting something? Anything else that I didn't mention and didn't pack like body lotion and stuff like that, I know my parents have it and I can just use what they have. So I tried to be conscious of that, like whatever things they might already have there, like toothpaste, I'm not gonna bother bringing. I am gonna go to sleep now because I'm very tired. And as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna head out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was maybe entertaining to watch i don't know um, but don't forget to check the description for the link and discount code to dossier and also just to kind of give you a heads up it might be like two weeks before my next video after i post this one because i kind of just want to take some time off for my birthday to just enjoy time with my friends and family and not be staring at a screen but i will be vlogging my trip so as soon as i get back you guys will get a really nice fun vlog from that so stay tuned thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye